What about that story of you and Albert when you were down there at Savannah? When we were down doing what? Down at Savannah Lake. Oh. Was that Bailey Lakes? I think it was. And you guys had some carp? Uh, that lake on uh, 250. Uh, Lake on 250. Yeah. Rubbermaid uh, was making a boat, a four by eight foot boat, uh, fiberglass. And I got, uh, I bought, I, I had a fellow at work to Rubbermaid get me one. I don't remember exactly what they cost, but it was like $80 or somewhere up in there. And we 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 Albert and I went over and fished that lake a couple of times, and we would. Do, he had his truck, and we had a we had a little battery operated uh, motor, and we would drive over there to I think it is Savannah Lake. And and we take the battery out of the truck, and and hook up the little electric motor and, and go out and, and fish. Uh huh. And one day, one day we was uh, fishing there, and somebody else come in there and and parked right where we would was going in and out, and uh, Albert and I started coming in and the guy had two fishing poles right where we wanted to put the boat in and and I and Albert didn't know what to do and I said just keep it going keep it just keep it just go right on in there and we got in there it's in probably five ten yards of the guy and I said you better shut her down, you're going to ram it. And this guy grabbed his fishing poles and got out of the way. <laughs> and we went right on in and, and docked where we wanted to and got that guy out of the way. <laughs> I said, shut her down, you're going to ram her. <laughs> that guy grabbed his fishing poles and left. Was there a bunch of carp there one day too or something? Yeah, we went over there We went over there one day and the, the carp was rolling uh, along the weed beds along the edge of the lake. Great big ones. I mean their back their backs was just sticking out like that. And then you had the tail to them and the head just probably that long, you know. And uh, I had this paddle. I had this paddle and we got in there where where I could hit one. And I took this paddle and I come down across the the, the, the neck or the head of this one carp busted the paddle, busted the paddle right in two and never got the fish. And then uh, him and I made out that we'd go back there the next week with a gig, with a big uh, gig and, and get a bunch of them. And, and I knew a guy here in town had a big like a big four prong uh, gig, you know, and he give it to me, and we took that gig over there, and and on the way over we talked about what are we going to do with the fish, what, what are we going to do with all the fish, and, and we got over there and, and put that little boat in, in the water and took the battery out and and, and went looking for the the carp, and there wasn't a carp, there wasn't a carp there. <laughs> It wasn't a carp around. We didn't, didn't didn't get any. Ended up we didn't catch the carp. Huh. That was funny. That's the way it always goes when you start planning for it. Yeah, the, the week a week later we went back and they wasn't there. Oh, they was in the water, but they wasn't. They wasn't working the banks, you know. <laughs>